Hello everyone, I'm here to teach you how to make an attendance through the Google Forms. First, go to www.google.com. Second, click the waffle button at the upper right corner and search for Google Forms app. Then, click the blank to make a new form. Fourth, on the Untitled Form, type the title of your form. Example, Attendance Form. On the description, you can write the date you are going to use the attendance form. Fifth, on the untitled question, you can write the last name, first name, and middle initial where the respondents will answer. And click required so that the respondent will not miss answering this. Eight, click add question. You can type your desired information you wanted to get from your respondents. Example, for students' grade and section. Ninth, you can change the option to drop down by clicking the drop down button. By this, the respondents can only choose one answer from your option. Then, on the option, you can write the section. For example, you have clustered classes. Click Required. Eleven, you can add question again if you need more information from your respondents. Example, the login time. This is where you can write it. You can also type the logout time then click required. Twelfth, if you're already done with all the information you wanted from your respondents, okay, you check it first. When you're done, you can write the file name of the, your Google Forms at the upper left corner. Thirteenth, you can customize the theme by clicking the palette icon. This is where you can change the color of your form. There is the theme color and the background color. Fourteenth, you can also choose the font style from basic to decorative to formal and playful. So, let's opt with basic. For 15th, you can change the header if you desire. By clicking the header, click the Choose Image. You can choose from the themes or from your file by clicking Upload. Next, click Browse, then choose the file you wanted as your header. You can choose from JPEG, PNG, or GIF file. After that, click Done and wait for it to be uploaded. There's the example. Okay, so we're just going to wait for it to be uploaded. 16. There you go, is where the header is. 16. Click the settings, which is the gear icon. On the general, you can click the collect email address if you want. Okay, and then 17, click the limit to one response per email address. And then the edit after submit if you wanted. And 
this one, the C summary charts and responses. And then in the presentation, click the show progress bar, the shuffle question if you like. And then the confirmation message, you can opt to change it if you like. 20th, click the send button, then click the middle button which is the link button. This is where you can find the link that you will send to your respondents. You can opt to, to shorten the URL by clicking it, then click copy. First, be sure to test your form by clicking the I button. Try answering your form so that you will see how your form looks like. The email address is always required for the respondents. Okay. After writing all the information that you need, then click Submit. So where can you find these responses? Click the Google Form tab, then Responses tab. It's where you can find the summary of the responses. To get the overall responses, you can click the Google Sheets to the, the, the icon to create a new spreadsheet, then click Create. After that, Open. Here's where you can find the spreadsheet of all of the responses of your respondents. So, do you want to know where this spreadsheet was stored? Go to www.google.com and click the waffle icon and look for the Google Drive app. It is there where all your files were saved. Okay, so here it is. So, I hope I was able to help you to create your Google Form attendance. Thank you.